Hello, hi, it's Liz here, and today I want to make a new insert for my traveller's notebook. This traveller's notebook is 12 centimetres by 17. Um, the insert that's in it is quite full, so I want to make a new one. Um, these pages were used for kind of uplifting sayings and some song lyrics and a list of favourite feel-good songs. Just a sort of general, nice, decorated pages for no reason other than there's nice stamped sayings and whatnot and nice coloured stamps. So it needs a new notebook. So I've chosen this uh, paper here to make a new notebook. And I have this sheet from the paper um, and I'm just going to simply slide it in. I'm not going to stitch any of the papers together because I want to be able to, because the tricky thing about this was, this is a pre-made one, a pre-bought one, and you can't pull out any of the paper. So it's quite tricky once the book is quite thick because they bevel, whereas I can just slide these papers in and out and that's what I'm going to do. So I'll just take that, I might put a wee notch there and a wee notch there just to make it easier because it looks like it's going to bend at those places anyway. So for my pages I've got some coffee dyed envelopes so that's just a, an envelope that's been dyed. So I've got a selection of them. All a little bit rough and ready. But that's what I wanted it to be because I'm going to decorate over the pages. Two smaller pieces in the middle there of just paper rather than envelopes. And then that's all the envelopes. So, they just fit nicely into there and I'm not going to stitch them, like I said, until perhaps much later on um, because they will just slide and the elastic on of the Traveller's Notebook cover will keep them in place like that and I can just pull a page out when I want to decorate it or make an entry in the book and that's what we'll do. But for today I'll just leave the inserts in there. For today I'm going to decorate the cover. So we'll decorate this piece of paper from the Romantic Collection and I have already fussy cut some pieces and we'll see how this goes. I've also got a piece of music paper because I might be making some entries to do with music, to do with song lyrics. So the paper has a sheet of ephemera that you can cut out, so that's what I did there. And it also has a sheet of words. And there are also some nice squares. And I just chose that one. So that's where all my bits came from. So, let's get decorating this cover. So, I want this for sure. And I want the big flower. So, 
flowers of a right way up. I think that's it. And I chose Timeless and Smile because songs are timeless, I think. And a song will, by and large, always make you smile. So we might do something like that. This was cut out from the book as well. Just fills a little space, makes it a little bit darker. There we are. What about that? What do you think? I think we'll keep this for the inside. Did you put it there? I think we'll go with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder about a bit of this. bit of this underneath. Yeah, I might do that. Okay, but the first bit to stick down is that bit of music. So let's get our move some things out of the way and we'll start sticking. Well, we went to Helensboro yesterday. I think I said in my last video that we had planned a drive in the car. So that's what we did. It was a lovely day. And Helensboro is about 45 minutes, an hour maybe, the most um, drive. So it's not far at all. And we had a nice brunch. And it was lovely sitting outside, a little bit of sunshine. The dog Millie met a puppy and had, was nice and patient with the puppy, so that was nice. Oh, sticky fingers again. I wonder if we put that down. It adds a bit of texture, doesn't it? I think we'll leave that and we'll stick this. So yes, that was at the the Sugar Boat Cafe, Bistro Cafe type place. And then we had a walk along, a walk along the front. Got some fresh air. And then what did we do? Oh, do you know what, um, on the way, Oh no, I need to stick that down. That's not going to stick. On the way to and from Helensboro, you go through a little village and then called Cardross. And then just after the village, there is rows and rows and rows of whiskey bonds. And it's where they keep the Scotch whiskey. For many, many years until it's ready. So that's quite interesting to see because years ago, so it's these rows and rows and rows of little, what looks like little stone sheds, low buildings that are no windows and of course plenty security, barbed wire and cameras because we don't want anybody stealing our whiskey. <laughs> but years ago, what I'm going to tell you, years ago, it used to be before cameras and whatnot, it used to be families of geese that were in guard at the whiskey bonds because anybody that went near anywhere I'm going to cut that thick bit off the buildings geese make I don't know if you know but they make a terrible squawking noise better than guard dogs and um, yeah so there was so the geese aren't there anymore but do you know what they've done in the grounds? They've got 
wire metal sculptures of a of geese and all the little geese in a row. Oh, it's just such a nice thing to remember the the geese that used to guard the whisky bonds. So the last time I was there, which shown oh golly must be well but maybe last summer during the when the lockdown was lifted the last time. I sort of want that to be under that a wee bit. Maybe just gently lift that up a bit. But yeah, so that was the last time we were there. And of course the geese are long gone, but the sculptures weren't there. So that was nice to see. Um, nice kind of modern style sculptures of the of the geese. So that's a nice nod to what used to be there years ago. Yeah, I think that looks, I'm quite pleased with that. I wonder if we could do the inside. Maybe just a wee, a wee nod to the, what's on the outside. Yep, let's get that down. So, yeah. You pass the airport as well, Glasgow Airport, going down the motorway towards Ellensboro and all the planes are still all lined up. They must have used Glasgow Airport to park them. So there's quite a lot of... It just reminds you of the strange times. All the aeroplanes all in a row. And of course, Helensborough is the place that John Logie Baird was born. He invented the television. So that's quite famous. Here we are. Let's try that. No, what I want to do is put some ink around the edges. Let's do that. So I've got some Victoria, the Victorian velvet, Victorian velvet. So we'll try this. Oh yeah, that's nice. I want to pick up a little bit of the pink that's in the papers there. as yesterday. It was just lovely to get out and see see some nice things and that there's still life out there. <laughs> That's for sure. Let's do the inside as well while we're here. I've got one of those craft mats but you know it's in the cupboard and this magazine does the trick just as well. So, yeah, so all these new subscribers, thank you very much. I'm glad, super, super glad to have you here. We're nearly, nearly at 500. And I've got a little surprise when we get to 500. I've got something nice to give to one of my subscribers. So that will be fun. I bought it in Helensborough and I saw it. I thought, oh, that's the very thing. And I'm just going to give, because this is tearing here anyway, a little notch there and there, like that, because the elastic is just going to tear it anyway. That's better. See how it looks in place. If we can get it in. Oh, 
Oh, I like that because it's nice against the olive green on the inside. Oh, I'm super pleased. Super pleased with that. And when I'm ready to do my first page, I can just pull that out. Maybe do things similar to these ones. Yeah, so there we are. <sighs> well, I hope you liked that today. And if you did, we thumbs up would be great. And um, yeah, so see you next time when we might do one of the insides, um, maybe in a future video. So that's us and I'll see you again. Take care. Bye.